Yo, what's up? <clears throat> Welcome. Sorry for the delay, guys. I had some things I had to take care of. you. But now, we're back. We're back, and you're probably wondering, Jay. Jay, you already beat Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. What the heck are you doing? We already see you, saw you save the world and collect all the crystal stars. Well, here's what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to do the pit of 100. Count them. 100 trials. And all my viewers left. <laughs> I'm assuming that's just YouTube being weird. But it was like four people, one person. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna do the Pit of 100 Trials today. Kiko says, I can't wait to see more adventures of Guh Girl. Yeah, she has become the main character post-game. It's actually pretty interesting. Oh, right, we're gonna revisit um, Rogueport for the first time, because we never actually started the post-game, so that's gonna be cool. Christmas Elf says, Chicken Emoji. Hello, chicken emoji. You're a strange one, sir. It must be something special to convince you to return. Although if I had a Goomba that cute waiting for me at the dock, I might return too. Whoa. What's going on here, guys? Well, whatever you're doing, be careful. Goodbye, sir. If I had a Goomba that cute waiting for me, Long time no see, Mario. I'm totally glad I got to see you again. This is awesome. Everyone's ready. We heard you were coming, so we've been waiting here for you. So are you ready to go? Wherever you want to go, we are so there with you. So that's our little return message. And we have all our partners with us because they heard I was coming. So isn't that nice? Um... Just checking on my stats real quick, okay. So, go ahead and save. I wonder if these people have saved. The sky sure got dark in a hurry, didn't it? Probably nothing. Wait, wasn't this guy from the island? That dark sky cleared, seas calmed down. Wait, I can't fight any longer, I'm going out to sea? Dude, you were, you were stuck on an island for years. Oh, this is the guy that we never invested in, because I never saw, noticed him here. But you can give him coins to invest in, and then he'll pay you back way later. It's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? No, I don't think I ever talked to you, sir. Went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil? I... I... I did it. I totally struck oil. There were times that I was covered in dust, weak and ready to give up, but I never lost sight of that dream and one day I finally seized it. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Uh, okay, he has like this whole journal. You could read about him hunting for oil, but we're not going to bother with that. So I guess he doesn't get mad at you for not investing, because I never talked to him. Because if you do invest, he gives you a bunch of money back. I thought he was going to be like, you didn't believe in me, Mario. But look at me now. So, oh, let's read the billboard. When the light fades from Rogueport, a hero emerges, inscribing his name in legend. What is this, Soul Calibur? Graffiti Corner. Super Luigi, all five volumes now on sale at the Toad Bros Bazaar. Uh, the Mustachioed Green Baron. No one has ever called Luigi the Mustachioed Green Baron. Christmas Elf said the rat is a success story, very inspiring. That's true. So, um... Mega Rush, that could be useful. I'm trying to think of what I should do here, because I probably shouldn't just rush. It's funny how we're, we're post-game and we've been 
home, but we have the same stats as when we did that final boss fight. We're just completely drained of everything. Uh, but anyway, I don't think I should just rush right into the pit. I think I should probably do a little bit of grinding, at least level up one more time, get some items, and... Hey, it's Luigi. What does he have to say? I've been catching a breather here, you know, reflecting back on all my adventures. It's been a long road, bro. Want to hear about what happened? I already heard it, buddy. Unless there's a new thing. Oh, the Super Luigi book. I don't know if I've ever read this. Actually, no, what? This guy actually novelized my quest. He's been interviewing me. He was actually interviewing me here at the inn during breaks from my adventure. I didn't think anyone would be interested in reading a book about Luigi. But Super Luigi came out recently, and check this out, bro. Here in Rogueport, it set a new record for consecutive weeks at the number one on the bestsellers list. Ho ho ho, hooray for Luigi, bro. I started reading it the other day, but it's an encyclopedic account in multiple volumes. Excruciating detail, bro. It's like a history book. It seemed like one anyway. They've got it in the shop here at Rogueport. How about you snag a copy, bro? A copy of five volumes. So, I'm not going to buy the volumes because it freaking costs like... I think if you buy all of them, it's like a thousand coins. Uh, we are going to rest. Because we need to refresh. Hey, Rag. Kiko said, is all this post-game content? Yeah. You can, It's cool because you can just... After you've done the story, you return to Rogueport and you can just go... You can re revisit all the places you've been to already. Which is cool. Because it kind of sucks when you have games where there's a lot of exploring. And then when you get to a certain point, you're not allowed to go back anymore. You will level up easily inside the pit. You just need to be prepared to restart it. Yeah. You know what, actually? That's a good point. Maybe I'll go into the pit to level up and get an idea of what I should be doing. And then maybe like around the halfway point, I'll leave and restock on items. Because I think halfway through the pit, you get this item that lets you hold more items and that'll be really useful. Uh, fire drive, I think I want that. Power rush could be good too. Although Mega Rush is even better. But you have one health in Mega Rush, that's the only thing. Is that okay? He's very excited about that. Uh, you should support your brother. I would, but his book is very expensive. I think it doubles in price each copy. The first one's like 64, I think. Yeah. And then the next one's 128. Uh... 265, so on and so on. It's a mid- wait, you shouldn't have to use any items for the first 50 or so floors, most likely at your level. It's amazing that every character's lines change even when it's post-game. They really put a lot of love into this. Yeah, every single person in the town has a different set of lines each chapter, like regarding the chapter. Like, if you, if you have a chapter where you're about to go to, like, Glitz Pit, like, people might mention it, like, Oh, I've always wanted to go to this place, or... I went there, and, and I got this souvenir. Stuff like that. So it, it is a really cool detail. Um, it's designed to be done during the game, so the earlier floors are for much earlier. Well, the Pit of 100 Trials is kind of designed to be done as a post-game thing, wouldn't you say? Or maybe the first hunt 50, I guess makes sense during game but I remember it being really really hard but uh I guess we could just head right for it then for now it's the last 10 to 20 floors that become brutal and I had to spam supernova all right well here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to go into the pit as I am now and I'm going to... I'm going to... 
Try to get to the 50th floor, which I believe gives you the... The upgrade, so you can hold 15 items. Then I'll leave, stock up on items. And then I'll, like, really try to go for it and beat it. And... Hopefully I'm able to do that. I feel like I went the wrong way. I guess we'll see. If I drop down into the pit. There we go. Sweet. So I haven't done this at all during my playthrough. Because... I knew it would be an ordeal. See? Haven't done it at all. Although it's funny that there's a record of power bounces and stuff. Star pieces found. Like, in, this must be for the entire game. Danger, do not enter. And a, and a good thing is, uh, first attack and bump attack badges don't work. Ooh. So beware. Badges from each 10 floors help progress with the game, but it's also harder than the random battles for current areas. Level 1. Alright, well here's here we go. Our journey begins. I should probably take out Goombella actually, because I don't know if I've fought a, a Gloomba yet. And I destroyed him anyways. I probably have. Another cool thing is since it's not just one big boss battle, you can switch your badges at any time down here. Usually in a boss battle you need to be like pre-prepared, but here it's like I can do it after any battle, or I can even flee a battle and then change my badges. So there's one down, 99 to go. If by some chance I tend to beat the, the pit, like, pretty quickly, I can try to go, like, do some other side stuff. But it should take a good amount of time. Welcome to the Pit of 100 Trials with the background slamming on top of you every fight. Oh boy. Uh... For Koops's is only like three, I think. Yes. So that's more cost effective. You should get the FP discount badge. That's a good idea, Christmas Elf. Do you remember where I get that from? Is that from the, the the star piece person? Or is that from a store? It actually kind of sucks that the first um, attack badge doesn't work. Or, the, or the, the badge that lets you kill weak enemies just by getting a first attack on them. You'd think it would, because... At that point, you're just fighting weak enemies that aren't a challenge anyways. That's a Gloomba. They're pretty tough. Except when you're fighting Mario. Dude, the fact that I do 7 damage. I think it's because I have a... Uh, that one badge on that rewards you for executing your thing perfectly. But if you do it wrong, I think you do like no damage or way less damage. Those dry bones just fell apart. They didn't stand a chance, did they? <clears throat> hey, Fak. Fak just said... Wait a minute, how many trials does this game have? That's a lot of value. It is a lot of value. Goodbye, fuzzies. Wow, we're getting so many one-star points down here.
It would be cool if there was a way to skip down some floors, because these these early floors are pretty easy. They're, they're not just pretty easy, they're just literally... You're fighting pushovers, basically. Like, we just fought one Gloomba. Michael says, be wary of the amazing daisies near the end of the pit. Wouldn't want to get walloped again. Oh, well, thank, thanks for that warning, because we all know what happened to the amazing daisies. Uh, the one amazing daisy. Oh, that's good. That means I get to fight amazing daisies again. I forgot that uh, that was down here. Because usually you only see those in one specific place in the game. And I didn't realize that they even attacked, because usually they just run away immediately. But it attacked me and did like 20 damage in one hit. It was ridiculous. So we're going to have to stun them. And then try to kill them as quickly as we can. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if Showstopper works on Amazing Daisies. I'm going to guess no. Did you miss any Tattle Logs? Probably. There's usually... You know, always something. Whoops. Koops is the MVP right now because he could just take out everybody. Redoing all the floors is definitely the worst part if you plan to do this during the game multiple times. I usually came down once per chapter to try to get another 10 floors. Yeah, you know what? It's funny. When I when I had this game when I was younger, I just I didn't really bother with this. I don't know why. I think it just it just felt a little too monotonous and I didn't know that there was a a secret boss at the bottom of the pit so I regret not doing that so this is kind of making up for all that like if the sign said something like there's a secret boss down here I probably would have uh, cared more wow the earthquake only hit one of them that makes total sense. Um, well, it's the first time they're, they're gonna finally get an attack due to this fog. And they also missed. What a life. Big Boo is hidden. That's the one I missed for a long time. Rag, I didn't even know about Big Boo until you told me. And I'm, so I'm actually glad you reminded me uh, if, if I can finish the Pit of 100 Trials quickly enough, I'm gonna go back to Creepy Steeple and fight Big Boo as well. I, I just had no idea about that. Okay, so, I think if you hit this, it that's the return pipe. And as you can see, I've not been down here at all, so... We're already getting stuff. Sleepy Stomp, that's... Interesting badge. So I think down here, instead of selling special stuff, he really just sells helpful items at like a way too expensive price. So we're not gonna get anything from him. Oh no, the return pipe is over there. I think the sign even tells you. Yeah. All right, so that's 10 down, 90 to go. I mean, I could, I could just try to do this on my first go instead of returning half. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Because I think I have some decent items already. Um, Let's just go for it This for, instead of like stopping. Because we can buy items from that guy as well. I forgot about that. So if I just save up my really good items... I, I might even have like a couple life shrooms left. Let's see, because I did that final boss fight pretty well. We have... Yeah, we have two life shrooms, three ultra shrooms, and a, a repel cape. It would be really great if I had a bushi. Um, but we could feasibly just try to do this on the first go. There are some amazing badges down here that make the story way easier, so I guess that best you didn't get them. 
Yeah, because the game isn't like super hard generally anyways, as long as you know what you're doing. Maybe like the first time you're playing. But uh, I wouldn't want to make it like too easy. Oh, we've never tattled on on that guy before. The Paragloomba. That's a Paragloomba. Yeah, Gloomba with wings. She gets. She's really rude when she's describing people, isn't she? Uh. Would my normal jump get rid of him? Let's do a spin jump just in case. Jesus, that is a strong move. Ah, I tried to super parry. I forget how much defense he has. It should be enough. Yep, more than enough. The boss does a lot of damage, so try to save as much healing as you can. Alright, I will. Hey, Maxi, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, I just thought it would be good timing to do this since I just finished Deadly Premonition 2 and the new Paper Mario comes out tomorrow and I wanted to do this anyway, so I was like, hey, perfect timing. Unfortunately, I don't think I will be getting my rental of the new Paper Mario by tomorrow. I don't, I'm not even sure if I'll get it by the next day because it hasn't shipped out today. Hopefully it ships tomorrow. Um, but besides that, okay. So... I'm trying to remember, it's been a while since I played. Uh, this is probably good for this. Perfect. What did you end up thinking of Deadly Premonition 2? Planning on doing a review? Yeah, I want to do a quick review. I'm actually going to try to do that. You know what? Yeah, let's... I should start on that tonight. Start writing the script. Um... It probably won't be a super long, lengthy thing. Because... Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's a good thing that the new Paper Mario is, is going to take a little little while to come, because then I can focus more on that, that review. Um... Overall, like as like a as a, a just my quick thoughts on it, I would say that if you're a fan of the first Deadly Premonition, I think you'll you'll enjoy the sequel. I think it lives up to the original pretty well. There are certain aspects of the game that have been improved, and there are certain aspects that almost feel like have been doubled down in a in a negative sense. But, and, and, you know, there's some unstableness, you know, people have talked about the low FPS when you're outside, and, uh, it can be buggy at times. It almost feels actually a little buggier than the first game, at least from my playthrough of it. But, and when it comes to the story, I think the story is just as compelling as the first one. I almost like the story in the second one a little more, actually. It might be because I played the first one, so I had more connection with uh, the main character. But uh, yeah, if you're a fan of the first one, I think you'll enjoy the second one. That's basically my, my summed up thoughts for that. Rack said, a fitting review of Deadly Premonition is just sitting back in a lounge chair with a glass of wine discussing life. It sounds about right. My, uh, my, my first Deadly Premonition review has been getting, like, a lot of views. Which I've been, I'm pretty hyped about. It has, like, over 3,000 views now, which is, like, really, really good for me. You know, for obvious reasons, probably because the, you know, the sequel, uh, just came out. So that's been cool. So that, that you know, really encourages me to do a review on the second game. Uh, which I want to do anyways, because it's just good to, to get that out. 
Dax says, I still need to play through the first and probably going to wait for a sell slash price drop. $50 is expensive. Yeah. You know what? Whenever I review a game, I feel like I I need to bring up like the, the cost value as well. I honestly kind of feel like... I mean, I'm glad it wasn't $60 at least. That's definitely a positive. But I almost feel like it should have been $40. Not because there isn't a good amount of content, it just feels like... <sighs> I don't know. I I'm very stingy though when it comes to spending money on games or like anything. I, I, I tend to wait for sales as well. Like I'll, I'll really want to play a game and I'll wait like two years before I even play it because I'm waiting for the price to drop. It's very rare that I actually put money into getting a, a new game. Like a full price new game. When No More Heroes 3 comes out, that'll be the first full price game I bought since... Jeez, I can't even remember. I got Travis Strikes again and that was a $40 game, so... You know... I don't even know if you can really compare it. Christmas Elf said it's a $25 game, $30 max, in in uh, their opinion. Maxi says, I just noticed the figure and the numbers on the right bottom when you fight. It's familiar to Mario Galaxy's rare figures in the lava level. Huh. Well, you have a, a crowd watching you, and like usually the crowd changes. Different, like it becomes different species. Zach said, even Travis Strikes Again had the DLC bundled with the physical copy. Good, good value. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could even get the game brand new for only $30 if you did if you got it digital without the DLC. So it's it's even cheaper in that sense. Although the DLC is definitely worth it. I should have did a review on the like on the DLC probably because Um I liked it a lot. An another thing about Deadly Premonition 2, which I'll probably get more into in the review, is that the first Deadly Premonition had a very obvious Twin Peaks vibe to it. The David Lynch uh, series. Very obvious. The setting, the tone, a lot of the characters and situations. Very, very Twin Peaks influence. Um, while also having, you know, its own stuff as well. I think Deadly Premonition 2, because it takes place in Louisiana, uh, and it has it, it has very different themes to it. The town has a completely different aesthetic to it. It it, it really gets away from the Twin Peaks uh, vibes a lot, while still keeping the Deadly Premonition vibe. So I think that might be another benefit to the game. Not that I think there's anything wrong with it having Twin Peaks vibes in the original, but for people who might you know, appreciate the originality a little more. We're almost out of FP. I probably shouldn't have been wasting FP on all these weak enemies, because I'm impatient. Rag said, the only full price game I bought over a y in over a year was Resident Evil 3 Remake, since I loved the second so much and wanted to experience the next one right away. If it wasn't for loving RE2 Remake so much, I would have just waited as usual. Sure, it's a waste of money I could have saved, but it's worth it as a one-off. Travis Strikes again actually dropped in price, even from what it was not long after it came out. But I'm not upset about that because I wanted to play it soon after it came out. And I'm also glad to be able to support uh, Grasshopper because they're, you know, they're not a huge AAA company, so... And, well, that's ironic. I just bought this badge. <laughs> that's funny. It was only like 70 coins, though. It's not a big deal. Um, I, I mean, I've been wanting to play the RE2 remake. I just haven't got it because I'm cheap. So I've been waiting for the price to drop. I I'll probably get... I'll play through that eventually. Oh, look, it's a bandit. 
Um, well, here's someone new to title one. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I haven't been using my star abilities at all. And those refill pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. Is there anything, uh... Oh, Showstopper costs the same as Earth Tremor. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. That should work. Oh, damn it! Oh, no! I thought you had to mash the A button. I was thinking of a different special. Oh, that sucks. Damn it. I was thinking of Supernova, wasn't I? I just started mashing the A button. That's uh, fine. Uh, we'll just... You know what? We don't even need to be using all these special stuff. These enemies are still pretty weak. I'm just trying to get through them quickly because... You know, this is a hundred trials. Where's the unethical vendor? Does he not appear all the time? I think he only appears like every other 10 floors. I also have items I could be using too. I gotta remember that. Fire Drive is really powerful if you get it early from here. Yeah, Fire Drive is a good badge, I remember. I kind of regret not doing like a giveaway for Travis Strikes again when I did my review. Just because I would like... Um more people to try the game out, because I feel like a lot of people avoided it just because it was so different. And, but to be fair, it's not for everybody, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people who like No More Heroes won't like it as much. But if you if you can get into it, I loved Travis Strikes Again. I thought Travis Strikes Again was actually a big step up from No More Heroes 2, story-wise. Because um, the first No More Heroes was great. Really great. A lot of people, I think, forget or overlook the fact that No More Heroes 1 has a really interesting story. Um, because they think, oh, Travis is just this pervy otaku who... He's literally just rising these assassins ranks so he could sleep with Sylvia, the girl who like runs the... She's in a, like a representative for the organization. And it does seem like that at first, but you find out later in the game that that's not actually the case that there's more going on than just that. And a lot of people forget that or they just ignore it or I don't know, or maybe they just never played that far. And they just say like, oh yeah, this Travis, he's just... Like people, people when they mention No More Heroes, they usually just talk about the, the funny or crazy elements. But it actually does have an interesting like dark story and stuff as well. A lot of people I think stereotype Suda as just being like a like, wacky for the sake of being wacky, or like, sexual for the sake of being sexual. But if you look at his games that he, like, is like the front man for, that he's like the writer-director, it's not really like that at all. That's not really Suda. Like, yes, there is wacky crazy stuff, and there is, you know, sexual themes, but if you look at Killer7, for instance, at no point in the game is like something just sexy it's usually also has some dark uh tones going on with it or just something uncomfortable it's never just like fan service um and then i think the reason why a lot of people stereotype suda as that is because you have games like lollipop chainsaw which he didn't have a whole lot to do with when people name Suda games, Lollipop Chainsaw always comes up, but he didn't write. He wasn't the head writer for that, and he wasn't the director. He was just like a creative consultant. But everyone always says, Lollipop Chainsaw, it's a Suda game. He's so crazy. It's, it's a, a, a cheerleader, hot girl chopping up zombies. And it's like, like, Lollipop Chainsaw is kind of like a flanderized grasshopper game. It's very... Like, it's a very exaggerated version of what a Grasshopper game would be, in my opinion. 
So I always, it always bugs me when people point that out when they're talking about Suda games, when it's not really a Suda game. Vax says, we should time how long it takes each stream before you mention Killer7. That'd be funny, just the Killer's- Jay mentions Killer7 compilation. Dude, I love that game. Well, obviously. The only reason I haven't done a review on it yet is just because I know it would it would be like a really massive undertaking because I would want to go so far into it. And I don't know. Oh, we've never fought booze before, I guess. Huh. Okay, time to tattle on them. But, but anyways, when I was when I was talking about No More Heroes, the second No More Heroes, um, the second No More Heroes is still a pretty good game, and in some ways improved. But the story isn't as good as the first one, and the bosses aren't as memorable as the first one. It's still good. There's still cool bosses. It's still pretty good overall. But I remembered mm, not being as impressed with it and being a little less, you know. There were parts of it where it started to feel like it was... Travis felt like he was kind of being an exaggeration of himself sometimes from the first game. And they were kind of pushing things and making some things, you know, sexual for the sake of sexual and crazy for the sake of crazy. Like kind of like, like I was talking before. And... Suda51 actually wasn't the head writer and director for No More Heroes 2. He was a creative consultant, and, I, and I'm sure he had a lot of input on it, and he probably did make up a lot of the things. But he was actually working on Shadows of the Damned at the time that they were making No More Heroes 2. After No More Heroes 1, Suda51 kind of took, like, this... This, this like, this, uh producer's role almost on a lot of Grasshopper's game where he was just working on so many things at once that he n didn't really have time to just focus on one thing and just make that his his game. So I think No More Heroes 2 was a little bit of a letdown in a way because I like Killer7 and No More Heroes so much that I kind of fell off from, from, from Grasshopper's stuff. Because even Killer is Dead, which is pretty good, but it's not nearly as good as Killer7. And not up... You know, it's almost... It gets pretty close. I think Suda was the lead writer for, for Killer is Dead, but he wasn't the director. Um, what am I doing? I can't talk and play at the same time. Let's do this right this time. Oh, yeah. What was I gonna say? Oh, so anyways. Sorry, I have like a hard time keeping my mind on track. Uh, so, needless to say, I was still interested in Suda and Grasshopper. Oh, it didn't work on them. That sucks. I don't know if it was because of the fog or it just doesn't work on them. Oh, that's gonna suck. No, you can't hit that guy. All right, we're just gonna take you out one by one then. Kumbella, why are you so weak? That was weird. I feel like you should have been a lot stronger than that. Whatever, uh, we'll do this. Ah, just barely not enough. Oh, and you made yourself invisible, great. Um, so, so, here's the thing, when Travis Strikes Again was, was coming up, I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to it initially, because, because I just remembered that No More Heroes 2 wasn't as up to par as No More, no More Heroes 1 and all that, and I don't know, I just, I just kind of fell out of the loop with Grasshopper, so I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it. And I didn't have a switch anyways, so if I had a switch, I probably would have paid more attention. But um, um, what was I saying? Uh, da, da, da. oh right, right, right. So it came out that Travis Strikes Again 
had this special intro to the game, which featured Killer7. And that caught my attention, as you can imagine why. So I was like, what? I watched the intro, and it freaking saw- it literally, it was like the same area as Killer7, same like, hotel you go into. Suddenly it showed Dan made an appearance, like it was amazing, it, it blew my mind. Like, for the first time in like 15 years or whatever, we're suddenly seeing Dan from Killer7 again. So, that really caught my attention. And, uh, I'm gonna do Earth Tremor this time just to be safe. Because Supernova did not work on those boos at all. But anyway, so that caught my attention and I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna buy this game. And also, I think after that I found out that Suda51 was actually writing and directing the game. Like, he was finally the head creative force behind a, a Grasshopper game again, and that also got me into it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to buy this game despite not having a Switch, and I'm going to borrow my friend's Switch, I asked him, and I'm going to play it. And... I... At first, I was a little worried because the game does start off kind of, like, lackluster-ish. But once you realize how the game and the story is structured and you get into the story, I like fell in love with it. The story is like so good. It's so good. So that by by the end of it, like it gave it was giving so much depth to Travis that you'd never really got to see before. And these other things that were connecting and the bosses were so like interesting and cool again. All despite the fact that there was no like proper cutscenes and voice dialogue. Which like like, that was the only thing. It would have been really, really cool to hear all these these characters talking, like, having full conversations. But just reading the, the dialogue was so good. And it really, really, really got me into Suda again. And I was like, wow, okay, he, really, he still has it. He just needs to be in charge of everything. He needs to be there doing it all. Uh, what am I doing? You know what, let's, let's, let's make this easy. Wait, no, we don't have FP for that. Uh... Let's... Can you hit everybody? Yes, you can. Alright, we'll just do that. Uh, but, but, uh, so long story short, I really, really got into Travis Strikes again. Enough that it made me buy a Switch. Because I also kind of felt bad that... I was borrowing my friend's Switch, and I was like, you know what, I'm, I'll, I'll get a Switch. I, I, I got one off eBay for a, a discount, which was kind of risky, honestly, but I'm, like I said, I'm really cheap. I don't usually spend that much money on things. Very, very rarely. Um, I don't know, Travis Strikes again really got me back into Suda again, and it made me very... It really made me look forward to No More Heroes 3. So, No More Heroes 3 is the first game that I've been looking forward to in this much for a very long time. Sorry, I haven't really been reading the chat. While talking is good, remember you got 100 floors. True. I didn't feel like there was anything wrong with Titus, and then the cringe laugh thing came out. Then later, somehow people don't like Titus. <laughs> Uh, I trust internet opinions less nowadays, so many people trying to pull things down. I don't know about Titus as a character, but his outfit is criminal. So you guys are talking about Final Fantasy, basically. That, that's fine, you guys talk about that stuff. I don't really... I'm not a really a Final Fantasy expert myself. I'm kind of spending all my stuff willy-nilly, because I'm sure I'm going to level up soon once I get to the harder enemies. So if anyone's wondering why I'm just wasting all my FP and star points on the weak enemies, that's why. You could always use Sweet Feast to get FP back. That's right, I forgot about that. You are correct, sir.
But uh, da 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 da. Oh, and, and uh, you know, coming back to Suda again, but in relation to current games, that is what got trying out Deadly Premonition in the first place. Was I heard that Suda Fifty One was going planning to collab with someone named Swurry. And I was like, I have no idea who this is. I've never played any of his games. And I found out that the game that he's best known for was Deadly Premonition. And I read about how it was like the most critically... No, sorry. The most mixed received survival horror game of all time. Which, you know, that's an interesting uh, claim, obviously. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. I didn't think I would actually get ch a chance to play it, but I had, I got a Gamefly trial subscription, and that was available on there for the Switch. It had just like came out not long before that, so I was like, okay, I'll try it out. So that's, so, not only does Suda get me to freaking buy new consoles when I haven't bought a console in freaking. I don't know, 10 years? 10 plus years? I hadn't bought a new console in over 10 years when I got the Switch. So not only did Suda get me to buy consoles after a decade, but he got me to try out Deadly Premonition. Because <laughs> I wanted to see who he was collabing with, you know? Get an idea of who, how this was going to go. And I'm kind of hyped now to see what they come up with, because Swery is quite a character. Do damage to enemies that touch Mario in battle. I should check through my, um, my badges real quick, because Zap Tap. Oh, I have three I could just use. That's a great badge. What the hell? Heck yeah. Oh, all or nothing. I forgot I had that. No wonder I do so much damage. Spike. Oh, I have Spike Shield. I could jump on spiked enemies. That's good to remember. Quick change. Damage dodge partner. Damage dodge. I don't think I need multi-bounce. I think the tornado jump is already... No, that's only airborne enemies. I don't think I need multi-bounce. I think we could take rid of that. So is there any one thing that I could get? Charge. Ice smash. Possibly freeze someone. Uh, mm. I have a couple like status effects I could add on, but I'm just going to do charge for now, I guess. Zap Tap is the most broken badge in the game. It makes you immune to things like fuzzies. That's awesome. Yeah, I remembered, um... I think... Ooh, these guys are new. I think that if you used Watt, which was one of your partners in the first Paper Mario, Watt had an ability to make you electrified. So this game, you just straight up get a badge for it. That's cool. Um, oh, we got a tattle on these guys. It's a dark Koopa. And they have purple shells, the darkest of all colors. Pretty tough. I think we're finally going to start getting more than one star point per battle, guys, with, with these dudes. But don't these dudes, they're actually stronger when you knock them on their back? Let's see. Should I be risking this right now? I might be thinking of another, uh... Oh, that would have been amazing. Nope, there's a, there's another type of Koopa that when they're on their back, they can attack you from the floor. I remember that. But I guess this is not it. Oh, these guys still don't give me more than one star point. We're too strong for this. Alongside being immune to fireproof enemies and spike enemies with jumps, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. True. 
Uh, the actual most broken badge is the Peril Damage Amplify Badge. It lets you one-shot anything with a multi-bounce and a tool assist. Oh, it's a Hyper Cleft. Wow, we're already 50 minutes in and we're barely down to like, we're not even halfway through. Yeah, okay. We, we need to do this on our first go. Okay, these blue guys, these are the guys that get stronger when they're on their backs, I think. Here's what we're gonna do. Whoops. Ah, uh, that's fine. We'll just we'll just take this guy out. Uh oh, repel cape. K Kiko says this reminds me of the time Savo Savio Vega went up against Hunter Hearst Helmsley in a Survivor Series elimination match. Kiko, why are you making these obscure ass like early 90s wrestling references? You're out of control. Hunter Hearst Helmsley. That was Triple H's original wrestling name before he became Triple H. And he was like this Connecticut blue blood character. How far down are we? 32, Jesus. Okay, I'm really hoping I can do this on my first go. Okay, I should have looked up tips. Everybody, if anybody can look up any tips for me, I think I'm gonna really need them. I'm actually a little worried now. Do I have any good items I could use? S scare some enemies away. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could try to use this. Let's see if it works. Why not? They're not gonna give me star points anyways. Worked on a couple of them. Haha, <laughs> you got zapped. They just get up right away. Oh really? We've never tattled on these guys before? That's a surprise. It's kind of cute. Okay. Well, we're gonna keep you down because we don't want you to use that mushroom. Maxi says, imagine Kiko being drunk in a J stream. Kiko says, I don't drink. Kiko doesn't drink. You know, just like Johnny from The Room. You know, Johnny from The Room, the main character, is actually Kiko's personal hero. He, he, he models his entire life after him. So he doesn't drink. Oh great, they're gonna double my XP to two. How great. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Rack says, stock up on the foods from the bump heads on the island. Well, I meant to give tips that I can actually apply while I'm down here, because I really don't want to have to leave and do this again. Because I didn't realize it was going to take this long. Make good use of Supernova on the final 10 floors and watch your HP on a boss fight, uh, as he can do a lot of damage per turn. Alright. You know the worst part? I don't think you could save until you leave, so if I get all the way to the to the boss at the bottom of this pit and I just die, everything I've done will be gone. So let's try to avoid that from happening. Uh, I'll just Earth Tremor, y'all. I don't trust Showstopper to work on you guys, and I don't want to waste star points on Supernova or Art Attack. Oh, but they're going to be stronger on their backs, aren't they? Ah, eh, whatever. We could take it. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Oh, they're not on their backs. I thought the the I thought the earthquake move was gonna knock them on their backs, but I guess not. Give me that FP. Oh. I do think this run is best done at least twice, as then you can get double inventory and stock it full of heals. That's what that was gonna be my original plan, but I figured I can buy items from the guy if he shows up again, hopefully. The thing is, guys, we are barely at 35, and I've already been playing this for almost an hour. So, if I have to leave and come back, this is going to end up being a super long stream, and I didn't really plan on that. I was thinking after, like, for four or five days in a row, I've been doing Delhi Premonition 2 streams that have been super long. And I was like, finally, I can have a relaxing... It's just the pit of a hundred trials, that shouldn't be too tough, right? That was my, my line of thinking somehow. Too bad this isn't an emulation, then I could just set some save states. Oh, I know we're immune to fuzzies. I'm just trying to get through these as fast as I can. Kiko says, you should have chosen the pit of a hundred smiles instead. I'm kind of mad that they're giving me all these coins, but, but no FP or HP or anything. What's up with that, huh? Hey, what's this guy doing down here? Hey, what's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things about getting through- Oh, he can skip us ahead, can he? I forgot- I thought there might have been a way. For a few coins, I can move you where you want to go. Where do you want to go? Ah. Oh. Yes, we want to move down more levels. That's totally worth it. This will save us some time. Um, was there anything else in this room I wanted to do first? Hang on. No. Okay. Perfect. But hang on. This is the 36th floor. So if I skip ahead five rooms, I'll miss the 40th floor in which there might be the chest. Right. I should, like, open up a guide so I can make sure I'm not skipping anything, probably. Uh... Alright, alright. We'll skip two floors then. So we won't skip the chest. Too bad he couldn't do three. Alright, close your eyes. My secret pass are secret. Don't open your eyes at all. It's kind of a trippy effect. All right. I'm also wondering if there's gonna be the item guy on the 40th floor, so that's another reason why I didn't want to skip it. Um, you know what? If I have the right partner, we could take care of both of you. In future runs, when the chest is already looted, you can skip further. Okay, are you tr are you trying to say that I'm not going to do it on my first go? Is that what you're trying to say? Are you saying I'm going to make it all the way to the end and fail? Or part way through and fail? Let me tell you something, buddy. We're going to make it. Oh, another mover? Damn it. Really? 
You had to be right before the 40th floor. You have to tempt me. Ah, that sucks. Hey, but you know what? At least we don't have to fight anyone here. I just wish he could have been after it so we could have skipped some. There's the item guy. Alright. Jesus, he... Oh, the farther down you go, the more expensive everything gets. This guy's an asshole. Also, I should probably get that chest. Pity flower. When Mario takes damage, occasionally recover 1 FP. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's equip that, actually. Alright. We're gonna have to take some stuff off. So... Charge can go off. Also, my stream's been having a couple, uh... Let me drop my bitrate. This game isn't truly HD anyways, so... It's probably okay if I... Go down a bit. I just realized I have, I've had some dropped frames. Okay, and then we can get rid of... Uh, tornado jump. I don't use that too often. Pity flower. There we go. Fire drive is pretty good. I might need to equip that later. Okay, and what items do I have? Uh huh. Ugh. Should I get some... I feel like I should get some maple syrup now while I have the chance. Even though it costs so damn much. I feel like I might need this. But Rag, I'm not allowed to get the the wacka bumps because the chat said if I do they'll all unsubscribe from me. I'm just gonna get this. This might save me later, so I'm just gonna have it, just in case. A hundred coins is nothing, I have so much coins. I, I don't co I don't spend coins on anything, generally. So it's, it's, not a, it's not a huge deal. Aha, I think I got my spin jump on him. I sure did. Boom. Got him. Okay, we, we can tattle these guys. Christmas also go back up to... Yeah, well... A hundred coins is nothing, really. I, I'd rather save an hour than... Just spend a hundred coins. Uh, da, 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 These guys aren't that tough. Well, the only thing that would suck is if I wasted a life shroom on like some easy enemies that should not be killing me. So I still should be somewhat careful. But we're gonna level up pretty soon. We're getting close. Hopefully my level ups are like in very convenient timings. And we also do have the good luck charm still, thankfully, so. That could be beneficial. Kiko says, whoops. I should probably defend poor Goomba, Jesus. Goombella. Sorry. Uh, Kiko said my finger is on the unsub button. Poor Goombella. She just got wrecked. Uh. Let's put Mario in front. Sorry about that, Goombella. I should be paying attention to the game when... Oh, they went right after you! That's messed up. No! Oh my god! 
I forgot that if a partner dies, you use a life shroom. Damn it. <sighs> they really should have a setting for that. Aw, oh, what a waste. That could literally kill me now. Like, that life shroom could have saved me. Damn it. I didn't think about... I literally just said I wouldn't want to waste a life stream, but I forgot that partners use them. Ugh. Oh, that is so bad. I should have just swapped her out. I thought she was just going to be knocked out. Damn it, that sucks. <sighs> Rex says, personally, I'd say go down as deep as possible to get some levels before leaving for supplies, then make your way back down with full healing and supplies. If I end up doing that, I might just have to, like, do it in another stream. Because... We'll see, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes and how much time passes. Aw, oh, that sucks. Aubrey has a ton of health. Put him out front. And I just remembered I could jump on spikes. I gotta remember that I have that badge set. I can't believe they went after Goombella when I put her behind me. Those jerks. Christmas Elf said, Jay's gonna forget more stuff like this and goof up in the worst moment. It's very possible. It would be nice if that overcharging douche would actually sell like really good items. You know, if he's gonna overcharge, at least make it good, but nope. Oh, here's a new guy, okay. Let me see something real quick. We have something like fire related. Let's take out the spike when we're not using it actually. Fire proof and jumping on fire enemies. Ice smash. Uh, mega rush for partner, that could have been good, huh? And multi bounce, sure, why not? These guys are actually really weak, so I don't I probably don't even need those badges I just equipped, but might as well. Oof. Sorry guys, we, we we goofed a little. We didn't really come super prepared. We didn't plan on going as far as we could, but uh I don't know what I'm saying. We're gonna try our best. That's all I know. That's all that really matters. Okay, that happened. Uh yeah, let's just make this simple. I like how as soon as I took off my spike badge, all the enemies have spikes now. Not that I probably would've used it, but it's just kind of funny. It's like the game's doing it on purpose. Ice power slash spike shield slash zap badge are always worth keeping on for convenience so you don't forget for specific fights. Yeah. Boop -ba 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 oh, they actually dropped like a useful item. That's nice. 
How far down are we? 44, okay. Gee, we're almost halfway. Yeah, let's get rid of the fire stuff. That was kind of a dumb swap. More things are gonna have spikes. Well, I should have the equipped badges. Uh, that, that. Uh, what was that other one I had? It was charge or something, right? Didn't I put charge on? Multi bounce. Yeah, I'll just put the spike back on. Wherever that is. It's like a little picture of Mario with the spike, isn't it? There it is. It's funny how this, the badge just has Mario's face on it. I don't think like any of the other ones really do. Yeah, because then I could do this. Watch. Haha! -ha. Remember, Miss Meows can always scrounge you items enemies are carrying. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. I never really used Miss Meows because the first time I played the game, I never unlocked her until post game. So that's good to know. Okay, thank you for keep. Okay, that's really good to know. Now I can, if an if an enemy's holding a very useful item, I will be sure to do that. Seven more star points. We're getting there. The thing that concerns me though is I think when you level up, uh, all of your partner's health don't refresh for some reason. I could be wrong. So I might want to like switch to Goombella when that happens. I don't know. Damn it. That's not good. I got greedy. At least he gave me some FP in exchange. Uh... Hmm... What if I... Dizzy Dial, that could be good to have. Uh... I should have probably just been using Sweet Feast. I... I'll just do this again. Oh, that didn't make them lose their wings? Well, I didn't realize that. Okay, uh... Well... Maybe we will try that out then. Oh, we, we can't yet. Still in items. She can't do it when they're flying, I'm guessing. Okay. That's unfortunate. All right, we'll just... Infatuate to confuse them, okay. We'll just take you out so you can't use the item at least. Damn. They're fast. Okay, uh... Da -da 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 
will just take you out. I I'm really surprised that these guys don't at least give you like two XP each. Or like one each at least, so it's like, you know, five XP total or four, however many I, I fought. Like really, for all those guys you get one star point. Like they're not that much of a pushover, they, you gotta fight them. It's just ridiculous, I tell you. I never do that. I wanted to see how it... Ah, cool. That was neat. And... Can she attack the cactus? No, she'll get hurt, won't she? Because she has to punch. So let's not use her. Uh, we'll just use Bobbery. Why did those suits at Big Gummy Worm have to make a version that's only the good flavors specifically to tempt me? Because they want you to, to get all the gummy worms. Are we almost to floor 50? Jesus. It's we're moving like molasses on a on a on a winter night. Whatever that means. Alright, what if we did this? Yeah, ah, oh, one away. But it's okay, because he can't retaliate anyways. I guess fire is weak against explosion. Somehow. The massive gummy worm snakes that take up the whole of the paper bag were the best part of pick and mix. I like gummy worms actually, that is, that's probably one of my favorite candy. Just gummy in general. Those are always good. Oh, I should be, I should be doing the, the ultra swing more often, then I would be damaging a bunch of enemies at once. Like, leading in, into the fights, I mean. Oh, we have 10 items. Hmm. I wonder if we should start using... Spite Pouch. Like, when are we ever going to use that, really? Wait, why did I do that? That was dumb. Because Bobbery can't hurt. I think these guys are invincible when they're standing. Okay, well, screw it. We'll use Spike Pouch. Why not? And I'm poisoned. Oh boy, okay. It's not great.
It's okay though, because we're very close to leveling up now. Watch, as soon as we just need one more start point, the next fight will be like a ridiculously hard fight. Oh wow, we're gonna get a million coins that we don't need. You only have to have one in the bag and had to sacrifice other sweets, but it was worth it. See, I wish that charm worked on the flowers and hearts you get as well. That'd be nice. I know there's badges that can make more flowers and hearts appear. There's so many badges I probably could have gotten that would be helping right now. At least we got to floor 50. Oh, there it is! The strange sack, now we can carry 20 items. Oh, it's 20, not even just 15. Awesome. That's great. We're not even, we have double the space now. Excellent, all right, we're halfway through and it's taken us about an hour and 20 minutes. And this guy already looks unique, so I guess we'll see what's going on here soon enough. Wow, seven didn't kill him. How strong are these guys? Let's find out. We don't want you in front, because you might die again. Okay, now I'm worried. Uh, I can art attack them and kill them no matter what. So you know what? Badge bandit? No. They can steal badges? That's insane. He's a bandit who will go after your badges. HP 12, attack 5. He sometimes steals a badge when he tackles you, so use your guard carefully. Even if he gets one, keep your cool, okay? If he runs from battle, you can always find him and re-engage him. Jesus. Okay, um... I think once I kill them, I'll level up, so I'm just gonna straight up... I'm just gonna finish... I'm just gonna kill them. But yeah, apparently Miss Meows can't steal their items, so... I am gonna try to be doing that soon enough. There we go. They're done for. One more hit for the road. One! They had that much health. They could steal badges. And after all that, I still got one star. Wow. Well then. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that one. Whew, jeez. Let's try to do my old. Ah. Oh. Okay, those guys fly at you quickly. Are those new? Oh, okay, we've already fought these guys. They're just the icy one variety, I think. Alright, well... Let's just... All right, power smash is two. Spring jump is two, so it's the same thing. We'll just do power smash. Oh, that'll get us a lot of star points back too. All those stylish maneuvers. Oh, he did one, but he flipped them over. That's good. There's a lot of defense. But now what you, when you flipped over, boy. All right, one more star point. And then we'll be leveled up. I wonder if we want Goombella in though, because she's, her health is so low and she could definitely use the boost the most. I think we fought purple boos already.
Those are both would be good badges, but if I wait... <sighs> if I try to use Miss Mouse to steal one, the other person will be able to use their badge, so... Mm. Or sorry, the items. It's probably better if I just focus on taking them out. Yeah... It's fine, we'll have more chances to get badges in the future. But... We want Goombella out. Because everyone else is at, like, pretty much full health. Vivian's a little hurt. Goombella just doesn't have a very high max HP, does she? Okay. So... We're about to level up anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and... Earth Tremor and then Goombella could finish off... The Badge Bandit, which I think has zero. Does he have zero defense? Actually, I'm not sure now. Hope so. If he freezes us, that would be very bad. You know what? I should have attacked him with her first. That would have been the smart thing to do. There we go, good. All right. Just in time. Imagine if the charm box showed up and then I got a level up twice. All right. Oh man, what do you guys think? What should I level up? I didn't even think about that. I was just waiting to get my my stats refreshed, but, jeez. I'm kind of thinking badge points, and then if I need more health or FP, I could technically throw on one of those badges. Yeah. I'll just do the badge points. I didn't realize you could get more badges beyond that. Wow, thanks for the FP that I don't need now. Very generous. Alright. Alright. See, why, why don't all your partners get refreshed when you level up? I don't understand. Don't make sense to me. I said, no sir, no it don't. I'm gonna put fire drive on. The final 10 floors, you level up a few times, Jesus. I'm not sure how the sound of that is. Okay. All right, we're all level up now. Mover. Okay, he's in a good spot this time. If he moves us five ahead, that'll be perfect. Yes! Perfect! Because now we won't skip one of the... the badge spots. Oh, lord. Okay, let's be careful about that. See how far you can go about that far. Come on. Boom! Got him. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. Yes! Beautiful. How much defense do you guys have? I do not remember. Earth. Unfortunately, the Quake Hammer just does two damage no matter what. Um. If you have 
If you have less than... If you have like two defense or less, then Koops can finish you off. We're gonna go with that. Yeah, or let's go with that. Ah, darn. Oh wait! Oh, that's right, because that was a first attack. I forgot. Nice. It all worked out in the end. Ninety-nine star points to go. I've already made my money back since I bought that overpriced maple syrup. Speaking of... Double dip. During battle, use two items in one turn. That could be helpful, but it probably cost a million dodge points. Jesus Christ. So he only has the same items every time. Screw this guy. Good thing I bought that back then. Jeez, how expensive did, do you get? You rip-off artist? You scammer boy- Oh, move her again! That's great! Is this a random chance thing? This is- this is great. Oh, we're, we've, we're skipping ten levels. One- like, well, five and then five. That is great. Yes, we got him. I'm so glad. I didn't realize we were gonna get to do that. That's gonna save so much time. Aw, oh, it didn't hurt your buddies. That's unfortunate. You guys are brand new. Okay. Let's see what you're all about. I thought you looked different. Dark Lakitu. Dark Lagatu rides a rain cloud. HP is 13. Attack is 5, defense is 0. It attacks by throwing pipes at you. Oh, huh. That's weird. If it's holding up a pipe when you jump on it, you'll get hurt. Really? So tell me, do the pipes count as spikes? Or can you just can't jump on them no matter what? Sometimes the pipes it throws turns into sky blue spinies. If you only attack the spinies, you'll never win. These guys sound like a big pain in the ass that I should just get rid of ASAP. So that being said... Oh, I'm really just tempted to use Art Attack on these guys. No, we should hold off. We should hold off. Pretty sure Pipe is a spike, okay. Uh... All right, we'll take out the first guy. Hey, look at that. They're actually dropping star points. Okay, yeah, those are not pipes. What did, was that a typo? That was a typo, wasn't it? Let's see, spin jump does like spring jump. We'll just do spin jump and have Goombella finish him off. What? Pardon me? Okay. I thought I timed that right. That sucks. Well, we're gonna send you out of there and we're going to have Vivian, I guess. Haha, now you're on fire. You're right, I should just do the special moves, because you do get them back pretty fast. Um... At this point, though, we can just finish them off.
Oh, we punched the spike out of his hand. Good job, Vivian. Excellent work. Okay, we don't even have those tattled on either. At this point, your super, your super moves will be your lifeline. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? Let's tattle on this. That's a sky blue spiny appeared from a pipe. That was not a pipe. Thrown by the Dark Lakitu. HP 6, attack 6, defense is 4. Jesus. Alright, alright. Well, you know what? It has just enough for me to do this, so I'm gonna do that. Final 10 to 20 floors is pretty much supernova as much as possible. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course that would create another spiny. Um, what if you just left battle? Would there just be a spiny walking around? Da -da 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 -da. All right, this should flip him over, unless it doesn't. There we go. Remember how plumbing works in Mushroom Kingdom? For all we know, these are indeed pipes. I guess. I mean, Mario is a plumber. I guess he would know. He would say if something if if it was off. I'm so glad we got to skip ahead both those times. Oh, and another one! Oh, please tell me we're on the right. We can skip ahead too. Yeah, we can skip ahead too. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. And by the way, his prices are a, a thousand times more reasonable than the other dude. Oh boy, here we go. Jesus. I'm scared. I don't want to get bit. There we go. Two dark lagatoos. Alright, uh. Um... Hmm... Man, if I had that tornado jump steal, that would be pretty good. Spike shield can jump on stuff, yeah. Every time I check back in on the stream, you're singing, old singer boy J. What can I say? I'm a singer. Ah, uh, screw it. Should I do Art Attack? No, this, these guys aren't that tough. I could save that for something better. Let's just do this. Screw it. Kill two guys in one go. Okay, I'm glad that went away. I didn't want to deal with that. I'm glad we're getting more than one star point for these battles now.
Dude, Kiko, we're on floor. S s okay, I swear I didn't mean to make, to make that dumb joke. I was just trying to show you how far we got, but yes, that was floor 69. And there's the mover guy again. Yes. Double dip partner. Okay, so your ally can use items in one turn. All right, well, we're moving. Five levels. Let's go. Dude, I'm, I'm hyped. Dude, that is a... Damn it! No, I didn't realize he went that far. Oh. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Goombella, what the hell is a wizard? It looks different from the ones we fought before. Part organic machine, part centuries old. Okay. And it can heal and stuff. Alright, well... I think I am going to use my art attack. Because he has an item that I do not like. And these chain chomps are pretty tough too. So let's just get rid of them. That did it. One more for the road. Hey, star points! We're actually getting the star points. That's what I'm talking about. It's kind of ironic that the mover guy doesn't show up more on the on the lesser levels, because those would be the ones you really, really would want to skip. Like, at least here, it's like... real battles with star points. I, I'm just not using Supernova, because that one takes up six star points. Dude, stop. Okay, come follow me. Oh, we got him. Got him. He didn't see that coming. He ain't gonna be in Paper Mario 3. That didn't work for some reason, but that's fine. Um. You know what? These guys are far close enough to the ground that I believe... If my calculations are correct. Shell slam me. What's a shell slam do? Oh, that cuts through defense. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's different. And then we can. Would fire drive kill them? Ah, eh, screw it. It worked! Dude, Fire Drive is great! I think it does less damage, like, as it goes on. Because the first guy did six, and then five on the other guy. But that's still pretty good. Okay. Good thing we got that, but, uh, well... We found it anyways, but... Good thing we equipped it. These guys charge at you, I know that. Jesus. So... We can jump on him. We have Spike. There we go. Dude, the spike badge is so good. Oh my god, he has a lot of health. This guy's crazy. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that good old shell slam, you feel me? My boy Koop's got that shell slam inside of him. And then, uh, I can't kill him anyways. So we're just gonna finish off the chain chomps as we hurt him a little more. He might be able to attack on his back. I'm not sure. Oh, he can't. Sweet. That works for me. Hell yeah. Poor, poor Koopa is their natural weakness of falling onto their backs. Yet you never see that happen to Bowser. You think it would especially work for Bowser considering how big he is? But maybe like his tail keeps him from falling on his back? I don't know. Not sure what the 
logistics are with that one. Green fire. Oh boy. Fire drive won't work on you, will it? But this will. Oh boy, there's a lot of enemies here. Wow, that hit everybody. Sweet. Okay, um... Alright, let me think here. Let me think here. I feel... I feel like... I feel like Earth Tremor should knock that the, the Koopa on his back, but I don't know if it will for sure. I do not know. No, I do not. Hmm. Well, I guess there's one way to find out. in it. That's okay. Um. Did Shell Slam knock them on their back? I don't know if it did. Oh, Bobbery's explosion definitely will. Does it? Maybe it doesn't. I'm like questioning myself right now. Maybe we should just get rid of that bat. Ugh. Hang on, let's see. Does Bobbery Explosion knock Koopa on the back? Okay. That, I'm not finding answers on that, so screw it, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm just going to take care of uh, the bat enemy. And then we're just going to have to get hit by this guy. Bat can heal if not killed. Oh, I forgot about that. Alright. Yes! Oh, we parried him! I risked it all. And it all paid off. Sorry, I got really excited about that. Because he probably would have done a grip of damage. Way too much damage. See ya! Now you're on your back, fool. What you gonna do? You can't get up. Now you're doomed. I'm gonna finish you with a bomb. Then you go home, scream to your mom, say, Mario, he whooped my butt. Mario, he's a crazy Italian nut. Mario, he's in the Paper Mario game. Too bad the game got worse after the second one. <laughs> Look. Oh boy, more coins. More coins that I will not spend on anything. Well, except the teleporting, I guess. Could have knocked him on the back with the free jump. Oh, you're right. You're right. I forgot. I'm glad I've been getting that ultra hammer on people, though. Ah, it hits them sometimes when they're in, they're in, when they're in the air, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, 
I'm gonna do the old I don't want to deal with these guys technique and do art attack. Well, Fax said, well, that was a sad ending to the rap. Yeah, it just kind of ended. Ah, uh, but they can regain health and that could get annoying. But I, I might want to save my... I don't think they do that much damage, do they? Here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna do this. And Vivian's gonna do this. So at least they're on fire, so if they get some health back... Oh wait, they can't, because I'm... Oh, they can get it back from Vivian. Yeah, but Mario would be invincible, I'm assuming. These jerks. These guys aren't even really that tough overall, but they give me more star points. So, you know, that's good. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Playing Mario. Fun fact, did you know that Paper Mario in Japan is known as Mario's Story? At least the first one is. I don't know if they changed the name for the later ones or not. Ooh, the background looks different. You said the last 20 floors, right? Those were the crazy ones? Bump attack. Bump into a weak foes to defeat them without battling. Too bad it doesn't work in the pit of 100 trials, that would be great. All right, here we go. Um, good thing I saved those star points, probably. Okay, that doesn't look like a crazy hard start, but I guess we'll see. What, are they just standing there? Usually they try to attack me. Oh my god, those things? What kind of piranha plant is that? Why does it look different? Oh my god, I'm just like... There's two things right now. Well... <sighs> piranha plant. Just a piranha plant, huh? We just haven't fought a regular one. Well, we need to learn about this guy because there's clearly something... He might need to be destroyed a special way. Dark Bristle. Vents 4. Can't jump on it. Well, I can. Okay. Um. What if I, for one, use Art Attack? I assume I'm going to get a grip of points from these guys. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Hey, we did get a grip of points. Pretty good amount of points. Too bad we don't have- Oh! Would you look at that, fellas? Would you look at that? I was just about to say, I was probably going to use one of those. I'm going to use this. Okay. Alright, alright. There's one out of 20. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, one of these guys again. Do they fly at you? Yeah, they do. Well, they don't stop. They do not stop. Please stop, sir. Please. Well, I can jump on you. So, I was hoping to do my swingy hammer. Damn. Damn, they have a lot of defense. Jesus. Good lord. 
Okay, uh... I mean, what else? Mm, earthquake will probably hurt it. Eh. We'll do Earth Tremor, and then... Something else. I don't think they'll do massive damage. I'm pretty sure you can't walk up to them and do stuff either, because they'll, they'll stab you. So I need to try to figure out a way to hurt them that doesn't involve doing that. Such as this right now. So, uh... Like, even Bobri, I think if he walks up to them, they might just hurt him. Oh, Koops' attack can cut through defense. Shell Slam. So there we go. It feels like a waste, but... If we can finish them without... You know, taking damage, that'll be good. I wonder if these enemies are more likely to drop items because they're harder. I hope so, because we're probably going to need it. That's different. I'm gonna try this again, even though it didn't work last time. Damn it. Why didn't that work? So I learned my lesson. Oh god, I'm one of those again. See, I'm worried about putting Goombella out front to Tattle. But, ah. Um, can't do those. I mean, Earthquake. Oh, well, that would only hurt him. Something I could stun them with. Oh, Bobri does- his explosion does 8 damage. Does that cut through defense? It might? Do explosions cut through defense? Maybe they don't. Probably not good to bet on that. This is rough. I'm not like in peril or anything, but it's just this is where I don't have a lot to just take care of them quickly. Um, I don't have know how much health those guys have, and I don't want to bring Goombella out in front to tattle, because then she could die easily and waste my last life shroom. So... And then that guy in the back is just going to be a pain in general. Quake hammer would only hurt that. Fire drive would hurt both of these? But does he weak against fire? Would that be a waste of that? Damn, they have a lot of health. Hopefully they're not, they're not that strong, I don't know. We'll see. Damn, it's still alive? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oof. Jesus. Okay. Um. Now I really wish I knew how much health they had. I 
Okay, uh... Pretty sure Vivian's attack cuts through defense. Fiery Jinx. So, we can do this. Hopefully that kills that damn spider and hurts the bristle. Didn't it even affect him. Good lord. She should be fine unless like everything hits her and with without any blocking I think. Ah, I'm like worried though. Maybe I'll be lucky this will kill him. Nope. Jesus. Okay, well we want to swap Vivian out, that's for sure. I wonder if you just can't, like, kill him if you don't have, you know, any of the special things to cut through defense. Because I don't think you could walk up to him either. I might try it right now to see. Oh, mini Mr. Mini. Thank you. Okay, let's try it. Let's see. Yup, of course. I tried to super parry that, that didn't, that wasn't the best idea. Alright, so... Mario's actually in danger of dying, which is not great. We can jump on him, but it won't cut through his defense. Earthquake would do- does 5 damage, I think. Mm. Okay... This is where you really need to stop and think. So... I'm going to give Mario some health. Just in case. Bobri can't do anything. I don't think anyone could do anything right now to that. But he still has a lot of health, so... Appeal. You know, we could do some star points, so screw it. Uh, will appeasing the crowd give enough for Earth Shaker? Uh, now it might. Now it might, actually. So... But you know what? Earthquake does 6 damage, and I think this item does... So actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna appeal with him first, just so we could get that in. And I'm pretty sure this item does five damage, so I'm gonna use that to finish him off. Okay, perfect. I think that was the most efficient way to go about that. Because now we'll have an, the, the Earthquake move with which does six damage to all the enemies that it touches. Oh, we're so... We'll probably level up from one more, but... Let me see if there's something we might want to do here. HP plus, but only for the partner. HP plus. So if we took... Hmm... I wonder... 
Like if we took this off for instance, and did HP plus, does our HP go up or just the total HP? Okay, just the, the max. That makes sense. Trying to see if there's anything that could really help us right now. Maybe double dip, honestly. I don't know. Fire drive. Oh, we already have that. Uh, I'm like just getting so happy heart slowly re restore you. It's really slow though. I don't think that would really help much. Power bounce, but if I was better at that, I'm not too great. Pity flower is like fine, but it's not like super great. I could have did a better job preparing for this, probably. Power bound. Damn it. Screw it. Maybe it'll save us. I think multiple of the same badge improves damage. Some of the badges do that and some of them don't, I think. So I'm not really sure, I'd have to look it up. Hey Ducky, you made it just in time for floor 84. Okay. I don't really wanna risk, oh God. There we go. I didn't wanna get bit. Those guys have a lot of health. Yep, we can play as well Mario. Okay. Uh... Oh, Bushi! Yes, please, yes, please. Oh my god, that's like the best freaking item to get. That's amazing. Did you guys see that? I just got a Bushi. Oh, man, they threw a rock. I got distracted. My health is low still. Oof, why um oh, yeah. What am I gonna do here? I need to really think. I don't know how much health that piranha plant has still. Boy, um... I don't know how much damage those guys are gonna do. And I don't know nothing. This is not right for old Jay. So... Okay. We'll put Mario on back. Let's attack with this guy first. Maybe this will kill him. Nope. That do it? Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. So we could definitely finish him off with this. Then we'll only do three damage to those guys. Won't be able to finish him next turn. So I guess we can do Earth Tremor. We will level up from this. So yeah, you know what? Just use everything. Use everything we can. Unless for some reason that Piranha Plant doesn't give us any star points.
Boom, 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 boom. Uh, yes, this is, it's kind of post-game content. It's like a side thing. Oh my god, those do a lot of damage. Thank god I put Mario behind. He literally would have died. Um, this is like an extra challenge, which you don't want to do until after you've beaten the game, probably, because it's very, very hard. Um... Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Coops. Power Shell will do 5 damage each to them. If I could do Shell Slam... How much would Fire Drive do? Oh, I don't have enough anyways, so no point to considering that. And you know, we're gonna level up anyways, so how much health did Bobbery have? 510, he would survive. Yeah, he needs to that health back. So let's pull Bobbery back out. We'll take out two of these guys. We'll survive the last one. Wait, what did I do wrong there? Do those just have a lot of health? Damn, they are sorry, they must have a lot of defense. That's fine. It doesn't matter. As long as they don't have any other crazy thing they can do, Bobber should be fine. Yep. He's fine. Alright. Um... Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Well, then let's put Mario out in front. And we'll... There we go. That's what I should have just did last time. Wait, no, it didn't even finish the first one off. Okay. Jesus, these guys are too strong. What makes this content difficult? Enemies have low stats, don't they? Um, can you not heal? I know nothing, explain it all. Rag will tell you everything. Oh, I don't need this right now. You could have gave me this way earlier. Badge points. Yeah, that's one that makes most sense. Thank God. Oh boy, and we got 16 more to go. And it's this guy again. Alright, um... Go through our badges. We just have one we forgot to put back on apparently. Oh no wait, that though we just got extra. Okay, all or nothing. Pretty lucky. I wish I had that flower saver badge so bad right now. Plus. If I turn on HP plus... Oh no. Oh god, I forgot he was there. Jesus. I, I was wondering if it would change my current health and since I was technically at max health. Apparently not. 
Okay. Because uh, I don't want to get hit that much, so the, the pity flower thing isn't that great. Tornado jump could be good. Wait, so that one said that you can't have more than one of those stacked? I wonder if it says that for Fire Drive. Two or more of these badges require more FP but increases the attack power. Ooh. Oh god, okay, maybe this will be our lifesaver. So I'm glad it does actually specify that that badge can be stacked. That might be exactly what we needed. Let's see how good it does against these guys. That guy just has a badge, apparently. 10 FP! Oh! It costs so much, though. Are you serious? That enemy had a pretty lucky badge. This game is trolling me now. You know how much I spent on that damn move? HP slash FP plus badges exist to be able to dump level ups into badge points, then can wear safety badges if needed without wasting level ups. Yeah. Will he drop that badge? That would be cool. Ah, oh, you know what? The fire drive stacked is pretty strong, but I don't know if it's worth 10 FP. That wastes so much that I could be using with other stuff. Like, there's FP moves that could save Mario's life by making him, like, invincible. So I think I'm gonna take one of those off. Just passing by, have fun people, hope to see this game released on a modern platform someday, see you all. Alright Ducky, thanks for, for stopping in. What if I just had Happy Heart on? Who knows, it could save you. And then I'll just put like... Fire attacks goes down by one as well with that. Maybe I'll just have ice power on, just in case. I'm gonna have it as that. <sighs> okay. Who do we want out? Bob has been pretty good. He has like, he's, he's just like a tank. He has so much health. Cycle big AoE P FP moves and super moves. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying. If I can get him to run into this. Oh god. Here we go, just barely. Oh, this guy. Hey, that hurt him. That's really good. Awesome. Um... Alright, well, Earth Tremor, because I need to get rid of that last guy anyways. Those dark bristles are like... Crazy tough. I don't know how much help that Piranha Plant has, but I know it's a lot. Uh, what are they throwing? Oh, that's good. 
That works. I'll just... I'll just do this. We could take a one hit from the Piranha Plan, no big deal. Okay, he does do a lot of damage, though. Oh, we got that health item. Would have been a little better if it was a Super Shroom, but that's fine. And I know Miss Meows can also heal, heal Mario, so I'll, I'll have to remember that, too. Uh... Yeah, let's put this on Mario. Vivian could use it, too. I gotta remember I have Sweet Feast, though. Let's hold on to it for now. Let's hold- let's hold on to it. Of course it's another one of these guys. Damn it. I don't even know if this is gonna work. Probably not, he's gonna just spike me. Oh, it worked! What a miracle. And it's just two of these guys. And actually, Koops can take him out with the Shell Slam. Yeah, let's use that. Because we do have some syrup if we really need it. Alright, that worked out well. Oh, mover! Mover! Damn it. Is it worth it? I'm gonna look up what badge you get on floor 90 and see if it's worth just skipping two to go to that instead of skipping one. Wait, wait, wait. When it says go down to, that means I'll go to 90, right? On floor 90, you get Lucky Day. It causes enemies' attacks against Mario to miss more frequently than with Pretty Lucky. That is good. Oh, that is a good badge. I think I want that. Alright. Alright. We're gonna go... We're gonna skip two instead of five. I would have loved to skip five. Imagine, that's skipping four, like, tough fights. But we're gonna skip one tough fight instead. But we're probably gonna need them anyways. So we can level up. Of course he's here. Lucky day. Lucky day. Alright, so we're gonna equip that for sure. So let's get rid of pretty lucky. Uh, this power, we need four more. What did I put on that I didn't really... Happy Heart... Five. I need two more. Two more. What's one that I haven't really been using? Ah, <sighs> Fire Drive, maybe. There's definitely moves better than it. Koops' attack is like a better version of Fire Drive, so I think I can afford to get rid of that. And then... I'll just keep Ice Power on it, just in case an enemy with a fire attack tries to get me. Jesus. 90! Do you have anything new? Anything. Of course you don't. It's the same crap. 
overpriced. Now the question is, I have a lot of money. Should I buy something from him to heal from? Even Thunder Rage could help. Damn, I should have just bought some earlier. White color palette enemies are the toughest if you can see them. The last 10 floors is brutal. Don't be shy on Supernova. How much damage does Supernova do again? I forget. Because, um... I should look that up. Because Art Attack does a lot of damage as well. Uh, 15 damage. That is pretty good. Buy as much healing as you can. Okay. I should have bought it before when it was cheaper. I have Ultra Shrooms though. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Let's get some honey syrup. And I'm gonna get a Thunder Rage. I just have a feeling we might need that. Okay, I know I spent a ton of money, but what else was I gonna spend it on? Alright. Okay. Oh boy, I already seen something crazy looking. Oh, I didn't even get the first hit on him. He was really fast. Damn it. Well, I need Goombella to tattle on these guys. But then she might die. Uh. Okay, well, no, I could swap her out, use her, and then swap her back. Or, sorry, swap her in, use her, and then swap her back out. Elite Wizard. Okay, yeah, Supernova, if we can use it. I should have been reading that probably, shouldn't I? Uh, defense 5, Jesus. Okay. Um, just swap to like Bobby or something and then I'm gonna do Supernova. Because Art Attack, I could kill them, but I don't know if I want to risk it. So, let's just do Super Run. That's what, yeah, you just mash it, right? Okay. I want to make sure I was getting it right this time. Oh my god, it didn't kill the Swampert. Ah uh -huh, you got electrocuted. You dummy. Well good, that means we can uh, tattle on that as well. This actually works out. Swamp, or sorry, Swampire. I said Swampert. Feared Health Sucker hides in darkness. HP is 20. Attack is 6, defense is 0. If you let Fissio, it's HP will get really high. Okay. His HP is already really high. We gotta do all them stylish moves to get our star points back up. Swamper, I didn't know Pokemon were in this game. That is a Pokemon, isn't it? Oh, there's one out of ten. 
We've only used all of our resources. But, uh... Zap Badge is MVP, for real. That was really cool. Oh, I do not like the look of that. Ah, oh, didn't get a first hit either. That time. Okay, well. Goombella, tell us what we're dealing with. Poison Puff. HP is 15, of course it is. Attack is 8. Poison Gas Attack is 10. Good lord. Ugh. Oh. Jesus. We can't even deal with them all right now. So, uh... We can make their attacks weaker with this. First off, let's swap out Gumbella. Yeah, they're gonna get like a couple hits on us no matter what, so... It's probably best... Unless we could stun them somehow. But we don't have any stunning moves. Mario does any hit right now at least. Okay, let's just use Mini Mr. Mini. I think this is a good time for this. If it works on them, it might not work. Yeah, forgot about that. It wasn't guaranteed. At least the weak one attacked. Poor Bobbery. Alright, so Bobbery's attacked as 8, I think. And then Mario's can only do like 6 on top of that because of his. Damn. All right, let's think here. Thunder Rage, how much does Thunder Rage do? It might be five to everybody, but I don't remember. Yeah, it's five. Okay, um... I wish status effects were more, uh, reliable, because then I could, like, do stuff like that, but... Damn. Might just do Bobbery... Eight, and then Mario can do eight, so that'll kill at least one of them. Oh, it'll kill two of, two of them now. No, it won't. Sorry. I was thinking of something else. Alright, uh... Because we're just gonna jump on one, on this guy. Oh! That's what Goombella meant by that. I knew that. Oh god. I tried to super parry that. It didn't work. Jesus. He's gonna use up my life stream. Oh god! Is this a joke? The entire crowd tried to kill me. Okay. Well, sorry, Bobbery. We need to get you out of here. Jesus. What? They really just tried to kill him and waste my life through him. This, this, that's just disgusting. Okay, uh... God, I'm trying to think. Okay, I'm just gonna fiery jinx them and then finish them... ...with, uh... Yeah. No. 
We need to save that. Damn it. Okay, think. Fiery Jinx. No. We'll save that. Oh wait, she has low health too though. Alright, hang on. Uh... Pop-Tart has a lot of health. Pop-Tart. Okay, so... Mario is going to... Earth Tremor. I will kill two of them. And then he can finish off the other one. That's about to do the big move. Actually, Koops might be able to hit that one. And then he won't actually be poisoned, because when he's in his shell, he doesn't take... Uh, passive damage like that, I don't think. Yeah, and we level up, we'll get everything back. That's a good point. This battle won't be enough, I'm guessing. So, uh... Okay, this is fine. We will use Koops to finish this guy off. Thankfully, he happens to be low to the ground. There we go, my boy Koops. Didn't get poisoned or nothing. And that finished you off. Alright. Is Bobbery still poisoned? I, I think once you get out of battle, it goes away. So one more fight should level us up, but damn. Okay. We might have to... <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. I don't know. We should use an item out here while we have a chance. I, just, I don't know what we're going to be facing is the thing. Well, before anything, let's give Mari some help. Mm. A normal mushroom. There we go. That, that'll be a good balancer. Mari, a normal mushroom. Because I know more. it's going to get harder, so we have to try to save as much. We have all these ultra shrooms, though. So maybe I'm being too careful, and that's going to end up being to my detriment. Um... Miss Meows can also hear heal Mario, gotta remember that. Also, has any of the enemies missed Mario since I equipped the Lucky Day badge? I don't know if they have. That needs to start coming into play, please. And let's use some honey syrup. I guess. Okay. If I see this is a crazy enemy, I might like heal more. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea what those are about. You know, I'm gonna just look it up. I don't... I need to know ahead of time. What are these things? Giant... Bo-bombs... Paper Mario... They're probably like dark, bulky bo-bombs. Bomb? No. So I'm just trying to be really careful here. Dark Fawful Bomb. Design Bomb. I'm looking through all these lists of bombs. Giant Bob Bomb. Glab Bomb. There's a lot of Super Mario RPG bombs. That's weird, I'm not finding this. It's like a... 
Let me let me try dark, bulky. Oh wait, wait. If I look at the pit of 100 trials, maybe it'll tell me what's on that floor. Cause this is 90 like four. Bob Olk. Purple Bobombs. Okay, 10 HP. Oh, if they do an explosion, it could do 16. Jesus. So we just want to kill them quickly. If they have only 10 health, I think we could take care of them. Okay, there we go. Found it. All right, so... Yeah, we could do that. We can do that. Especially if I get this hit on. Yes, these guys are easy to get that with because they're so big and they're slow. Oh, there's a oh, there's an amazing daisy. Oh my god, I'm just gonna die, aren't I? Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Okay. So they have ten health. I just did. Oh no. Oh boy. I'm gonna look up a Maisie Daisy real quick. How should we deal with this? Oh. I almost feel like I should run away and, and prepare myself better. But then there's a chance that running away doesn't work. Guy, do you think I should run away and like heal up more before this? What do you think? And then I could like pick better badges and stuff? Let's try it with the partner. I think we want to run away. I could even like pick badges that go better with this fight and stuff like that. Now that I know what I'm dealing with. Nuke bombs, I think? What does that mean? The thing is, if the runaway fails, then that's a wasted partner turn. Ah, uh, this is terrifying. Boost sheet on Mario. That makes you invincible. We might want to do that. But then Koops will die and he'll use the life shroom up. Ooh, no matter what we do, this is not good. But using up a life shroom is better than nuke bombs before they can explode. But you don't think I should try running away first? Because the Amazing Daisy can do a 20 damage hit. Unless the Amazing Daisy runs away after I kill the bombs. There is a chance they could do that. But a Maisie Daisy could put me to sleep and then just hit me again and kill me. Ah. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see, what can we do, Mario? Buffs. We're so close to leveling up. I'm just concerned that the Amazing Daisy will hit us once for 20 and put us asleep. 
and then hit us again and kill us because I think there's a chance that could happen. And I know they have a ton of health. I don't have any one thing that could just kill them all either. I should have had the double dip on, that would be so good right now. Sad thing is Bobbery has a move that could kill them. Do they have any defense? Hang on. Hold on. Do they have any defense? One defense. So I can't use Pop-Tart Stamp... <coughs> Excuse me. Stampede. Well, the Amazing Daisy does, but how about the Bulk? Bobulk. Two defense. Damn it. Those would have been the other thing that could have killed it in one move. So I can't do that. Can't use Bobbery because he has one health. I need to deal seven damage to them all because they have ten health. And the two in the back have seven health left. Oh. Careful with fire and explosions on the bombs, they might explode. Okay. There's another thing. The Thunder Rage says stuns them. Does that literally stun them? Like, makes it so they can't do anything? Apparently the Fright Mask works 100% of the time on the Daisy. Sleep works 50% of the time. Oh, burn works 100, that doesn't really matter. Sleeping would be pretty good. Damn it. Oh. Yeah, because if the Thunder Rage stuns the Daisy... It, I don't see a stun percentage, though. Thunder Rage stun. Wait, wait, wait. The description of Thunder Rage, Thousand Year Door claims that it can stun enemies. This is untrue. Wow. The uh, localization team really dropped the ball on that one, didn't they? Oh. Um. I think that's what I have to do. Damn it. I really hope it doesn't put us to sleep. Unless it just runs afterwards. Um. Alright, let's use the Thunder Rage we bought. Oh! That caused it to explode, that's nice. Wait, it killed the Amazing Daisy? Okay. Okay. That works. Jeez, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. Apparently lightning makes the bombs explode. At least they weren't buffed up before they exploded. Oh, thank god. That was a miracle. We actually killed the Amazing Daisy. 
Didn't see that coming. Okay. I forgot that the big bombs also hurt its friends. <laughs> okay, you called it, but you also said careful about making them explode. So I'm pretty sure that was a fluke. But I'm not gonna complain, because Jesus Christ. Alright, what do I want now? What if I have pretty lucky and lucky day? Does that stack? Let me look it up. Let's see. Does pretty lucky and lucky day stack? It says that lucky day has a 25% evade rate. Chance of attacks missing is increased when multiple copies of the badge are equipped. Okay, so they do stack on top of each other. That's that's good to know. App apparently, pretty lucky gives you a 10% chance of them missing. Lucky day gives a 25%. So if I have them both, that's a 35% chance that they'll miss. I think I'm gonna go with that. It's pretty lucky yet. The heck? Oh, I didn't realize we got it that late into the game. And then I'll just put. I just have Mega Rush Partner on just in case. Screw it. Okay. Here it is. So technically, Mario should now have a 35% chance of all attacks to miss him. If the wiki is to be believed. Okay, these guys again, these aren't too bad. Ah, damn it. I keep missing my first strikes, though. There is a million of them. Okay. Alright, so... Jesus. Um... I don't want to use up... Six star points... Star special points for my supernova. So what I can do is art attack... Ah, uh, can I do 12 damage total with Art Attack? I'd have to do it perfectly. Jesus. That will give me a lot of X star points though, probably. I think if I do Art Attack perfectly, I'll do 12 damage. And then I could use Bobbery for 8 more damage. But you know what? <sighs> We'll do Supernova. Because they're going to give us a lot of XP. And we have a lot of FP now to deal with the next person, so we might be leveling up soon. Vivian, which her health is still low. Because I don't know why when you level up, all your partners don't get healed. 
I had Koops out when that happened, didn't it? Because I didn't expect it. That's kind of unfortunate. Perfect. Got a lot of star points out of that. Ruin power. Confuse all enemies, hindering their attacks. That would be amazing if it works. What is the rate for that working? I have no idea. Oh, these guys are pretty tough, I think. I'm just gonna get a hit on. I just wanna guarantee a hit. One of these, two of those, huh? 10 health. 15, Jesus. Bobbery has one health, so even if I abuse Bobbery, he would just use up my life shroom, and that would suck. But, we're pretty much guaranteed... You know what? Yeah, we have so much health. We don't need to use items or anything, because we have so much health right now that we are guaranteed to level up, and we're going to be fine. So, let's just take these guys out one by one. Um, really? You gotta do that to Vivian? Like you made her sad. Um, uh, the poison guys suck though. Would this work? How much defense do they have? We gotta look it up. So that's an elite wizard. Alright, elite wizard. Five defense, so that's not gonna work. Gulp should work. But is it gonna hurt the person behind him? I don't know. Paper Mario does gulp hit. Let's see if the wiki gives more info. It doesn't say anything about them having to be on the ground. So... gonna go for it. You have a lot of health. Ah, damn it. That sucks. Alright, well we're just gonna get rid of you. We can afford to waste this FP if it doesn't work. Oh my god, I didn't time it right. That's not good. At least that worked for once. Hey, it's working actually. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, uh, that was a really stupid mistake I made right there. Oh, we're gonna get our stuff back anyways, so... Okay, um, 
I think these guys have a little bit of defense, if I recall. I think they're poison... poison puffs. Let's see, they have zero defense, actually. So... Mm, yeah, we'll just keep you out and we'll do some damage to the first one. Alright, this is fine. So I'm gonna hurt myself on purpose right now to damage this guy. And so now I can bring out Bobri as one health. And this will kill them and then we'll level up and Bobri will get his health back which is like the most efficient because I'm getting 40 HP points back from him alone. badge points. Oh. I like how I get all those hearts and stuff when I don't need them. Okay. Five more to go. Defense plus. Defend plus would be pretty damn good. Okay, so. If I took off... Let's see. I need five for that. Oh, if I took this off... Defense plus. Okay. Just gonna go with that for now. Oh, see what we're coming up against next. Another one of these guys. Okay. We got a hit on him at least. Oh my god, there's an amazing daisy. That is very, very, very not good. Okay, um. Okay, we need to think about. They have 20 health. So if we did a supernova plus Bobbery's moves or even like just like Vivian's, that would finish them off. Yeah. Pretty sure the Amazing Daisy has 20. Let me check again. Amazing Daisy. Oh god, I wasn't holding the control. I didn't know what that was gonna be. 20 health, okay. I have power plus also. I'll have to check. Okay. We're gonna supernova. And then. Use Vivian, and then if anything, it's actually good because the Amazing Daisy is going to give us a bunch of star points.
And we have Ultra Shrooms, we need to remember that. Don't- that we shouldn't be afraid to use it, we're getting near the end, too. Alright, so that, and then, I think I'd switch to Vivian. Fiery Jinx, we'll save some FP that way, which it is precious at this point. Look at that. Mmm. Oh my god, 61 star points. Does what have high evasion? I don't think the Amazing Daisy does. You said I had, um, power up, right? Power plus, or whatever it's called. Power plus partner. I don't have one for my. S or maybe I do. Let's see. I think it's just for my partner. Which is, you know, also good, but. Oh, right there, there it is. You're right. Um, What would I swap out for that? I haven't really been using Power Bounce at all, because I have to like fight so many enemies. So I could probably take that away. And then I need three more, I think. Quake Hammer hasn't been as useful, because these guys are just too strong. And then I could probably do Mega Rush Partner. That should be good. Alright. We'll have that on for now. Poor Vivian. She's in danger. Go back to Bobber. Alright, next. Well, these guys. At least we can get this on him easily. Oh, of course there is. Oh my god. Oh, but the bombs are good, because if we blow up the bombs, it'll hurt the Maisy Daisy. Yes, yes, this is good. So all we really want to do right now is just use... Use, uh... Bobbery to finish them. Power Bounce might be good for the boss. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Alright, I'm going to use this, because we'll survive all this. And then Mario could finish off the Amazing Daisy with the Super Smash or whatever. 7, 10. That would've been funny if that finished it off. Okay. And then we should be able to finish off with a Power Smash. If not, then really. Get some star points back through all those stylish stuff too. Look at that, we leveling up again. See, some the daisies are pretty good when they're next to the big bombs. Because it makes it easier to take them out actually. We were lucky that we used that when they weren't around the big bombs. When we used Supernova, I mean. Mario became a superstar. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. Oh, we're a superstar now. We have went beyond A-list a star. Can you believe it, guys? It's finally happened. Oh. So, floor 100 is the boss, right? So that means we just have two more normal battles to go through. I wonder if we will level up again. Probably not, I'm not gonna count on it. Oh, that's it? Just these three? 
Okay, uh... They are annoying though, we don't want to count them out. Alright, let's think here. Instead of using like Supernova, we could do. Oh, look at all these items! I think we're gonna be pretty okay against the boss, guys. I think we have so many Ultra Shrooms. Guys, I think we might actually make it. Wait, I thought you could only become a superstar if you won at Mario Party. Are you telling me the titles of. Mario Party hands out might not be official. Maybe. I'm gonna do Art Attack and then I'm gonna finish them off with uh, my, my partner. That's what I'm gonna do. That way I can Art Attack the next people instead of just using super, uh, Supernova on them and then just not having anything. Oh, I almost was able to do it myself. All right, so we could use Vivian. This was, uh, okay. Whew. Guys, one more fight. And then we can do the secret final boss, which I've never fought before. Because I didn't know they existed. And it's this guy. Oh, we didn't get him with the first attack. I was... I was really trying there. That's it? These are the last guys before the final boss? Okay. Um, yeah, throw health at Vivian. She could use it. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, Alright, let me think here. So, let me confirm. You don't get to heal or, or anything before the, the final floor, right? You just straight up fight the final boss? Is that correct? Things like FP and HP, I can heal because I have items. Star power, I cannot bring that back. So if there's a way to save the star power for the boss coming up, that's probably the smartest thing to do if I had to guess. So, here's what we're gonna do. This should do four damage to him, then Bobby can finish him off, and then we'll finish off the poison mushrooms next round. Damn it, I timed it wrong. So now, Bobbery won't be able to finish him off. Brilliant. Well, we're just gonna do this anyways. I don't know how I screw that one up sometimes. It's okay though, we should still be fine. Oh, he just has a lot of defense. That's the issue. Wow, those lucky stacks are really helping me out. Okay. No, you start the fight as soon as you go into the boss room. They're trying to psych you up by giving you a softball fight. Unfortunately, I won't level up one more time, but... We're still doing okay, considering... Okay, um... Let me try that again with the Ultra Hammer. I still think I had... The timing off. No, it just really... Wow. Can't believe it. I guess he's immune to it. I think some enemies are just immune to the Ultra Hammer, sadly. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. It took us three hours and 14 minutes doing nothing but the pit of 100 trials. I'm really glad I didn't decide to go back halfway through and restock. Cause we actually have like all the biggest items we came in here with. But before we go in... Alright. Um... I 
we need to figure out we need to probably heal everything gosh there's a lot we need to do uh maple syrup we're gonna we're gonna want to take that I'm glad I bought that okay so there's that what else here who needs to heal Vivian well who am I gonna use for this fight really I need to think about this Bobbery I'll probably use a lot Koops would be good too because he can make Mario invincible from attack with his shell shield Vivian can also protect Mario Um, maybe I should just, I'll do Vivian just in case. Maybe I should save the super shroom because I'm trying I'm wondering if I'm really gonna use Vivian ah uh, screw it we have those ultra shrooms okay uh, badges double dip I think this is where we're gonna want to put the double dip on Boss has lots of HP. Don't heal party unless they are important. Mario is going to take a beating. Healing best girl Vivian is always acceptable. Uh, all right, let's th let's think of things that might be good to use and what we're not going to use because it's a one. It's a boss. We're not going to need spike shield, right? The boss doesn't have spikes, so we don't need that. I'm pretty sure it could use fire, so we'll keep that on. Quick change is, we'll want that. Damage dodge. Honestly, happy heart, that might help. Flower saver, oh, partner. Oh, I had flower saver for partner this whole time? By one. Could help over time. I do use partner's abilities a lot too. Yeah, let's throw that on there. Is there anything else I just straight up would want to get rid of? Zap tap. Would zap tap really help against this boss? Yeah, I was thinking that wouldn't. It? I think double dip. Might be good. Mm. Everything else I think is pretty good to have. Power smash, close call. Power bounce, I don't I don't know if I trust myself for power bounce. Otherwise, I think I think we're ready to go, guys. Mario has full health. Bobri has full health. We're not full on it on uh, flower points, but we can uh, we can try to say that we have tons of health items: the Bushi, Repel Cape, Courage Shell. I don't know if the Ruin Powder would work on the boss. But I think we're ready to go. Well, I should have Goombella up first because we're going to want to tattle. And then after that, the fight begins pretty much. His hitbox is hard to tell. Power bounce is good, but tricky. All right, I'll stick with what I have then. Here we go.
Oh, would you look at that? Oh, I thought they were gonna have dialogue, I guess not. So here's the secret final boss. Aru! Aru! Wow, what a freak. Goombella! So rude. Okay. Tell us what we're dealing with. Bone Tail the Magnificent. That's Bone Tail. He's the oldest brother of Hook Tail. So old, he's just bones. In fact, wow, now that's old. His body's max HP is 200. His attack is 8 and his defense is 2. Various breaths that might confuse us or put us to sleep. That's not good. When his HP gets low, he'll recover or reanimate as the case may be. He's probably stronger than the last boss. Seriously, let's do this right. Jesus. First off, we need to switch your Agumbella. No offense. But Bobbery is a tank. And we're gonna power lift. Start this off right. That was good. All right. That was a good power lift. All right. Here we go. So I'm pretty sure Bomb Squad isn't boosted by the power lift. I think it's really just your basic attack. So, Bobbery, we're going to stick with this for now. Eleven. That's already almost 10% of his health right there. Are those torches in any other level? Ouch. <laughs> A bucket fell on you. Alright. I'm just gonna keep on hitting for now. Does hold fast work on the boss, do you think? I, d I haven't used it enough to really know the ins and outs. No, don't... Che no, Bobbery. Well, at least he's on fire, too. Ouch. At least it didn't confuse us or whatever. Alright, our power lift's gone. Uh, we should start using this stuff. I'll use the repel cape... For now. I wonder if I should use that on Bobbery. Because Mari already has the pretty lucky. Also, I don't know if he charges up and has like super attacks or not. It doesn't seem like it. Goombella would have mentioned that, you think. Give your partner courage to boost his or her defense. Alright, we'll, we'll give that to Bobbery. Oh, your partner. Am I my own partner? That was a weird specification. Okay, we'll give Mari the courage shell. And then next turn I will give Bobbery the, uh... Oh, I could have did the double dip! Right? Oh, why didn't I do that? Oh, because only Mario could double dip. Damn it, that would have been the perfect time to do that, too. Okay, I'll, I'll remember that for next time. Oh yes, this is a good time to get this! Finally! Wow. I think this is the first time this playthrough that the charm box... The good luck curse has actually given me a very good... It still only did 11, for some reason. Maybe we lost our boost. Uh, oh snap, Laptop's about to die. Good luck with the bony McBone zone over here. Thanks, Fac. Thanks for, for joining me this whole journey. I think we might just be able to make it. All right. Um. Are there two things I would want to use? He 
doesn't really attack directly very often, does he? I don't even know if that would work well either. Uh, we've already done 25% of damage. I think we'll be okay. I just need to be careful. Um, you know what, actually, let's go ahead and do this. Wait, no. Wait. Yes. And then I'm gonna do Sweet Feast. That only did six. <laughs> that would be amazing. <gasps> no way! Please tell me that wasn't scripted. Cause that w I never get the the slot machine. Well, I don't need to do sweet feast now. That's for sure. Mario's a pretty lucky guy. What happened? Did your defense go down, buddy? Wow, okay, um... That was great. That was really great. I guess I will do... Power lift again. One thing and three of the others usually as best as I can do, so that's good. Yeah, your normal attack does six, so... Oh no it doesn't, it's because you were boosted. Notice how the different breath, flame breaths are different colors. I remember getting it on this fight, so if it's scripted, I approve. Yeah, for sure. It might be, actually, because they know that you've just been through freaking 99 rooms. Ah, oh, damn it. Poor Bobbery. And then I'll just sweet feast. Uh, once our... Yeah, screw it. I guess just start using our FP. Because once our HP and FP gets low enough, I'm just going to sweet feast. Great! Haha, <laughs> you missed. Power lift, we usually get it back. I guess we just keep, yeah, I keep doing that because having our defense up definitely helps. Power lift is so good because it increases your attack and your defense. What more could you ask for? It's one of those moves that when, it, when you're a kid, you don't really think about using it because it's like, it's not like a flashy attack. It's like, numbers be different. What's good is that gonna be? Okay, I think that was a coincidence personally. I think that I want to say that one wasn't scripted, but either way, awesome. Aru. Oh, you just screamed Aru and you gained health, I see. Whatever you say, buddy. Whatever makes you feel better. We haven't even used any of our Ultra Shrooms this whole time. I'm pretty sure the power lift can't stack. I think I tried that once before, so I'm not gonna bother with that. A 
Are we gonna get a, another defense increase right now? Jesus! Did no damage! We're like OP right now. Jesus, every time. Mars is too lucky to get burned himself. Ouch. Good thing we're, we're about to do the uh, sweet feast. Oh, you could just hold left on Sweet Feast. Wow, no poison mushrooms so far. I don't know if that's also scripted for the. There it is. Jesus. That was that was excellent. As Bill and Ted once said, and only once, excellent. A fork. Where did that come from? We've also been lucky that the his his breath attacks haven't been giving us status effects because they totally could be, according to Goombella. Guess we're due for another power lift. That was not very good. I, I goofed up there. It's weird because power lift is it's the only part of this game where sometimes when you hit A to, to grab the arrow, it doesn't seem to always register. But none of the other parts of the game seem to have that issue. Uh-oh. I think I'm going to give Bobri a Ultra Shroom. Let's, uh, let's double dip. And we'll give Bobri an Ultra Shroom, because I have plenty to go around. And then we'll just use a Repel Cape on Mario. Does he even really need it? He keeps avoiding a lot of the moves. Eh. I'll give it to Bobri. Mario's already got all those those badges helping him out. I like how they call it dodgy when you when your dodge chance is higher. You're all dodgy now. Aru, Aru. Oh no, he healed again. Whatever shall we do? No, Mario's dizzy. That's not good. Okay, that definitely wasn't scripted. Oh, we both dodged. We both used Mario and, and Bobby used Ultra Instinct and dodged the Flame Breath. I might just miss with this, so I'm gonna do a normal hammer. Yep. See, that would have been a waste of FP. White Flame Breath. Oh, I'm still dizzy. Damn it. And I'm gonna get a power boost. I really hope this hits.
Oh, that sucks. They power boosted me. Mario's all doing 50 backflips. Yahoo, wasn't that amazing? Mario, you missed. But it looked cool. Ouch. That's such a quick, just little... Little bite he does. Alright. We're starting to run low on supplies now. We haven't we don't really have any FP recovery stuff until we get our more star power. So uh We'll just keep power smashing. We have plenty of health recovery though. Jeez, don't bite Mario. What did he do to you? Besides hit you a bunch of times. getting pretty close. If I had Supernova, I could basically finish him off this run. Oh wait, this is it. No, it's not. Aubrey doesn't have enough to finish him, but next round, if he doesn't heal, then I think we got this. Alright, I think this is it. Unless he has like another trick up his sleeve. Uh, I don't I don't believe he does. Here we go. Good old normal hammer strike. Oh roo roo. We did it. We beat the bu We out really? One star point? Is this a joke? After all that? They gave us one star point. Oh, but he's spinning something up. Alright, at least we get some kind of prize. Because that would be messed up if that was it. You got return postage. Make direct attackers take half the damage they do. That sounds great. Rex says, well, Jan, pleased you committed yourself to it rather than playing it safe. Could have ended badly, but the risk is what makes it worthwhile. You get loots. Yeah. Honestly, I was starting to get really stressed leading into, like, the final areas. Like, with the Amazing Daisies and stuff. I was like, oh my god, I could die at any moment. But, uh, that really paid off. That's pretty satisfying. I had no- I didn't even realize it was gonna take this long. Okay, I guess there's nothing here. I wonder what, what Goombella has to say about all this. This is the lowest floor in the pit of 100 trials. A zombified dragon named Bonetail used to protect this room. Yuck. Mara, I bet you're the first person to make it this far. I totally know, knew you'd do it. Now let's get out of this creepy place and back to the above world, okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm a badge now pointless as you beat the super boss. Alright. Now I need to go save. So all of that technically grinding wasn't gone to waste. I can't believe we did that. I can't believe it took 3 hours and 40 minutes. I, I had no idea. I thought it was going to be like 2 hours at the most. But we did it. Nice. And you know what? That's cool because I think tomorrow will probably be a break day anyways. Because I don't think uh, my Paper Mario rental will be arriving tomorrow. Uh, actually, I should check my, my email. I'm going to see if Gamefly delivered the game today. Doesn't look like it. So the game probably isn't, I feel like 
I'm either gonna get it on Saturday or Monday, because the mail doesn't come on. Uh, the mail doesn't come on Sundays, unfortunately. But uh, anyways, yeah, we did it. Yeah, Christmas Elf. Christmas Elf, somehow, without returning back, without playing it safe, we managed to get to the floor 100. I honestly thought in the daisies part, I thought I was dead, for sure. And look at the items. We still have two Ultra Shrooms and a Life Shroom left. And keep in mind, I wasted my first Life Shroom. Rex said, yeah, sorry, Jay. I forgot how long it took to do the Pit of 100 Trials when I told you to do it. Yeah, I'm glad that we didn't. And I don't blame you because when you're playing by yourself, like casually, you don't think about how much time is passing. It's pretty different when you're streaming. But we did it. Awesome. Awesome. That, that will... will I guess we will call that a night then. That was, I'm very glad I was able to do that. I was starting to think I was gonna have a, a problem there. Um, uh, it's fine, I, I was able to tattle on Bone Tell and I got Goombella to survey the final room. So that's like really the important stuff. Um, I'm, I'm pretty good for tonight. I could, I think we could wrap things up. So, like I said, tomorrow, I doubt the new Paper Mario will come. I'll probably take a break. The next day, though, it probably still won't come. So, I'm trying to think of what I might do to pass the time. Maybe I could play a little more Paper Mario, do some more side stuff, and fight the Big Boo and stuff. It, it won't be anything nearly as exciting and challenging as this, because this is, like, the biggest challenge in the game. But, you know, it still could be fun just to casually play. Is Bone Tail a sibling of the other two? Yeah, Bone Tail is the oldest sibling. Goombella said. But, yeah. I'm gonna call it a night. Thanks everybody for joining. Especially those of you who stood from the beginning, from floor 1 to floor 100. But for everyone else who like joined it at random times, I appreciate that too. Dude, we did it. I'm hyped. I am hyped. But yeah, that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a good night. Stay safe, stay healthy. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.